the trapezius muscle, a very, very important muscle pertaining to posture. I'm going to run a few simple tests with you to make you more aware of how important this is, particularly those that are spending a lot of time in a forward position, rounded shoulders, forward head posture. The upper trapezius attaches behind the base of the skull around the uh, a bone called the external occipital protuberance. It uh, comes down into the shoulder blade, making its way down into the cervical as well as the thoracic vertebrae all the way to the bottom of the thoracic vertebrae to the 12th vertebrae. The upper trapezius elevates the shoulder upwards. It pulls upwards. The middle trapezius retracts the shoulder blades to where it can come together. Underneath that is the rhomboid muscles, which are the main retractors of the shoulder blades. But as you come lower down, in the lower thoracic, it brings the shoulder blades down together, coming down together. Now, forward head posture puts an excessive amount of load on those upper traps, and those traps are pretty thick muscles. That's trying to withstand the forward head instability of that 12 pounds multiplied by an additional 10 pounds per inch you go forward. So, if you have a 12 pound weight for every inch, it goes an additional 10 pounds, two inches would be 32 pounds, three inches, 42 pounds. These muscles, when they're overworked, they will contract, they will shorten, and they will start to spasm. So what happens is the upper trap starts to crowd the neck, giving you this kind of feeling like you don't have enough neck and the muscles are actually rising and pulling limiting your range of motion uh, from left to right, side to side, as well as causing significant headaches. Again, it attaches underneath the skull. You have the greater occipital nerve that goes over the head behind the eyes. It will affect the range of motion. It will cause chronic contracture behind the base of the skull, causing inflammation and lots of neck pain. This can actually cause referred pain, myofascial changes, and lots of inflammation that can actually cause lots of pain. But the upper trap is something that you can stretch, and I recommend you do stretching it. You'll grab onto uh, something on your side if you're sitting like a chair, and as you hold this down with your shoulder, as you're pulling, you'll take your other hand and you'll pull it the opposite way. You can actually take your chin, put it into the armpit, and pull it down and forward. And you'll feel the back of those upper traps start to stretch as well as the middle traps. You can do both sides. But the key thing with these trapezius muscles is that in order to get that retraction of those shoulder blades, you need to do pulling exercises. So if it's a pulley, a band, a cable, you want to do rowing, pulling exercises. You're going to row back. And as you row, you pinch the shoulder blades together and bring them down. You pinch them together and bring them down. Pinch them together and bring them down. The other thing I want you to do right now, I want you to kind of bring your shoulders a little forward and I want you to try rolling your shoulders back. Go as you roll them back, put your hand over your trap and you can feel the trap move. But you notice when you're slouching forward and you roll it back, you don't have a lot of full range of motion. Now stand up tall, lift the chest up, now roll them back and pinch those shoulder blades together and bring them down as you're putting it in your back pocket. You feel the difference. Now touch it. You feel how much more movement you have. So that's why it's so important to get that chest up, to get that head high, nice and high, like you're having a string pulling your head up to the ceiling, to the sky. And when you exercise, you want to make sure you get those shoulders up so you can actually pinch them back. Because if you're slouched forward, the exercise is almost impossible to do. Now, the traps are not part of the core, but indirectly they play a very important role in the core. As these muscles are retracted backwards, they attach to the lower vertebrae, helping the rib cage come up and out, allowing the shoulder blades to come uh, back, as well as the head to come higher up, where your ears are over your shoulders. 
the core works hand in hand with these traps. That if the traps, the middle lower traps are not doing its job, the core will not be able to do its job either. Remember, the core is a deep abdominal muscles that helps you sit up straight, but by the retractor muscles of the middle and lower traps, as those work hand in hand with the rhomboids, that will help your core stabilize your whole entire structural system. So remember, the trap muscles are extremely important. Being aware of your poor posture, of the long hours of driving with no support between your back and the seat, no support while sitting, leaning over a computer, texting, looking down, forward head posture, putting excessive stress on those trapezius muscles. And obviously, this will lead to quick, rapid degeneration, herniated discs, bulging discs, spondylosis, degenerative disc disease, all different kinds of physical arthritic changes affecting the nerve root, pinching the nerve and causing radiculopathy, radicular pain, neuropathy, pain down the arms, into the hands, in the shoulder blades, into the chest. It can actually affect your breathing as well as headaches that go over the head behind the eyes. Now the list goes on and on and on. The objective here is prevention. Leave your questions below. Anything you'd like to ask me, please share this video. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.